Today we're making this zucchini slice. This recipe is packed full of delicious zucchini, plenty of bacon, just one delicious ingredient after another. And it's super easy to make. To get started, we need anywhere from three to five pieces of cooked bacon. While that's cooking, let's dice up our onion. We need one white onion diced. Once your bacon has finished cooking, we're going to take it out and quickly toss in our diced onions. We're going to scrape up any pieces of bacon bits that might have stuck to the bottom of the pan. That's all we're really doing. Technically speaking, the onions don't need to cook in the pan or even be in the pan for that matter. I'm more or less just coating the onions in the bacon grease and using it to help scrape up any of the bacon bits that may have been left behind. If you wish to avoid this step, that's totally fine. Just transfer your diced onions to a big mixing bowl and move on to the next step. And our next step will be washing and trimming the zucchinis. We need roughly four large zucchinis shredded. Take off the tops and bottoms and slice off any other areas you don't want in your food. We're going to shred all four and then before we add them to our big mixing bowl, we're going to remove as much of the liquids as possible. You don't have to, but if you choose not to, you're more than likely going to have a soggy dish even after baking. I've tried it both ways and naturally it tastes a whole lot better if you remove the excess liquids. To do this, simply grab a cheesecloth or in my case I have these reusable cheese bag strainers. If you're interested in these, I'll post a link to them down below in the video's description box. As you can see, that's a lot of juice. Okay, now we're ready to add the shredded zucchini into the bowl with the onions. Next, we're gonna roughly chop our bacon. Okay, this looks good. Add that to the bowl. We're also gonna need one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese, followed by one cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and five eggs lightly beaten. Here comes the fun part. We're going to mix up all these beautiful colors until everything looks well incorporated. Next, grab an 8x8 baking dish and lightly spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. We're then going to line our dish with some parchment paper. The nonstick cooking spray is more or less acting like a glue to hold the parchment paper in place. And one more light spray so nothing sticks. And in goes our delicious mixture of all things tasty. Go ahead and evenly spread out that mixture. Don't be afraid if it looks like it won't all fit. It should. <laughs> It will rise a little, but it should all stay in the dish. Into a preheated oven uncovered at 350 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes until the top is golden and the middle has set, which will be hard to tell if you didn't squeeze out that excess zucchini liquid. Mine was done right at 50 minutes. Let your dish cool for 15 minutes before slicing into. I absolutely love this recipe. It's just one of those dishes that can easily work as a hearty breakfast or dinner meal. There's a lot of interesting flavors going on in this dish, even some that aren't like really there. <laughs> The cooked flour gives off an almost pastry pie-like taste to it, which is neat because you're looking for a pie crust, but there, there isn't one. It almost tastes like there's potatoes in it too, which of course there are none. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next video.